Hello everyone, today I will be playing Universe Sandbox, and in today's video, um, I didn't actually have any particular idea, I just felt like messing around and making a video while I do so, and plus I have vi a video to upload, so I figured I might as well do this, so let's just get started, um, yeah, I don't really know what to do. Usually when I'm on Universe Sandbox, I like to reenact the time when the dinosaurs went extinct. Or just good old-fashioned hitting the earth with a big old meteor. So, alright, here it is. I'm going to line it up to where the asteroid did actually hit it hit on the yucatan peninsula kind of looks like there's already a spot there except the crater is not visible anymore i don't think um so let's go down and it hit at quite an angle so let's simulate that too um I think right there will be good enough. Might be a bit too far into the water. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. And shabam. Got tons of debris. Like, look at all this. Hold on. Whoops. Okay. This piece is... That piece alone is one and a half kilometer and nearly 2,000 degrees Celsius. So, let's speed up time a little bit. There's the flash. You can see some of the firestorm of death. And, yeah, this spot is very, very hot. You go here, you die. <laughs> so, I don't think that was a big enough piece. So, hmm. Let's reenact the time from that really famous movie, Armageddon. So, here we go. Look at all the stuff it's releasing towards Earth. That's all gas because of the heat. It's also lagging my game a lot. Alright, let's slow down time before it hits. Oh my gosh, my game is really lagging. So, if you were living in San Francisco, which is right here, I believe. Let's pause the game for a second. If you were living in San Francisco, this would be your view, which is kind of bonkers. Looking up into the sky and seeing that wouldn't be a welcome sight. So, alright, let's speed up time just a little bit more. Oh, and it has hit. Let's slow down, let's slow down time a lot and see the shockwave can't actually see it moving 1.5 milliseconds every second let's speed it up there we go one second every second okay now you can see it moving oh my gosh <laughs> yeah hawaii is gonna be history this would be your view from hawaii about whoops come on there we go yeah it's about to be obliterated by the stuff here comes the fiery shockwave of death it's about to reach honolulu oh my gosh 
and Armageddon has vaporized. And yeah, everyone on pretty much everyone in Hawaii would be dead. Um, who else? Hmm. Besides Hawaii or and some other tiny tiny Pacific Island or tiny tiny Pacific Islands. Um, yeah. Yeah, Hawaii, they're, they're a lost cause. They're gone. Also, the ozone layer doesn't like what we've, what I've done. You can see the atmosphere kind of runs here. And then where the firestorm is, it just disappears. So, yeah. Let's speed up time a lot more. You can see the firestorm propagating. It has hit San Francisco. Hmm. Papua New Guinea, Alaska, some parts of Russia, US East Coast, and Australia. Maybe the islands here and New Zealand. They probably aren't having the best time in the world. Alright. Let's speed up time even more. Oh, it's releasing gas. Can see the clouds are moving. There goes the gases from Armageddon. Going off to explore the cosmos. And it is cooling down. So... Right. The Earth is still at 65 degrees Celsius, which would, which would not be pleasant. So, some, some parts of the ocean off the coast of Canada are looking a bit dry. Um, anywhere else? Hmm. Some parts of the, some of this is, oh my gosh, that looks really awesome and really terrifying. Yeah, now there's just a big hole in the ocean. Honolulu and the Hawaiian Islands are no longer islands because there's a big chunk that used to be ocean and now it isn't. Yeah, it kind of looks like a ring. So, I still don't think Earth is obliterated enough. So, let's reenact the time when the Earth got hit by... Where is it? I can't find it. Um, ah, here we go. Around 4.1 billion years ago... The Earth got hit by an object roughly the same size as Mars. And it looks something like this. Compared, comparing it to the Earth is really terrifying. So, let's, let's just speed it up. Because it did hit at a very fast speed. Not that fast. Um. You know what? There, that that's good. Alright. At this speed, at this time scale, it should, like, berserk right through. Oh, here we go. Yep, here it comes. Okay, let's, let's get a San Francisco Bay view once again. This would be your view... <laughs> Oh my god, that is terrifying. Look at that. That Imagine looking up into the sky and seeing this big old planet. And it is... Where is it heading? It is going for... I don't know where it's going for. It's going for Russia and Alaska. 
Or will it even hit? Earth might Earth might get out unscathed. Hold on. That cannot happen. Okay, let's change the course slightly and bring it back down to Earth. Here, let me let me get a better view. There we go. Now Earth should get a great deal of big rock. Oh my gosh, it's going too fast. <laughs> okay, let me see. Alright. If, if you were at the North Pole working on some presents as an elf, this would be your view. Oh my god, that is terrifying. It's about to hit. Where is this place? Um, I don't know. Kaboom. Oh my gosh, the entire area turned blue. Oh my gosh! There goes Florida. Bye, Florida. Oh my god, I didn't expect that to happen. Okay, now the Earth is kind of like... It's half star, half Earth. Oh my god. It's 18,000 degrees Celsius, and it's climbing. South Africa. Okay. About two-thirds of the Earth just got wiped out. Chile, Argentina, some parts of Brazil. Um, oh. Okay, South Africa. And maybe some parts of Australia didn't get didn't get immediately obliterated but they're going to have to deal with this glowing hot stuff so oh my god the earth is oh my god the earth is 43,000 degrees Celsius that's insane Oh, some other parts are starting to glow bright blue. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Oh, I guess Earth just got eaten. That's weird, and why is it growing? Why is it growing? <laughs> oh my gosh, 110,000 degrees Celsius, and why is it growing? It shouldn't be growing. Okay, um, I think we should just blow it up, because I don't think that's really how physics works. So, let's just use the explode tool, auto energy. Let's give it the force of a supernova. Kablooey. Oh my god. Whoa! My whole screen just turned white. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. That is so bright. It's brighter than the sun. Okay, wait, wait a minute. Hold on. Just look at that. It's brighter than the sun. It's like 10 times brighter than the sun. Hold on, let me check its luminosity. Oh, I guess I can't because it vaporized itself. Okay, here, let, let me get a star like Sirius. Not as bright as that, even though it's the brightest star in the night sky. Let's move on to another star. Rigel. About the same size as this glowing area. Still isn't as bright as it, but it gives off quite a bit more light. Now let's move on to one of the brightest stars in the universe. It's actually in here. Um... I don't know, where is it? Where is it? Ah, here we go, Rokassi up here. This is way brighter. Just look at that. When I zoom out, that supernova thing gives off more light. It outshines this gigantic star. That's kind of insane. Here, I just want to get a little bit more scale. So, Sirius 
is one of the closest stars to Earth. It is about, I don't know, like six or eight light years away. So let's go, let's go right there. That's about 7.6 light years away. I don't know. So let's pretend Sirius had its own little planet. Let's say Korot 7b. So, I don't think this planet actually orbits this star, but whatever. So, where is it? That would be your view. That is not the sun's light. That is indeed... Hold on. Takes a while. That is the supernova's light. And it isn't even a supernova. That came from a planet. Only stars create supernovas. My god. Here, let's unpause it. See what it does. It's growing. Oh my gosh, it's growing a lot more. It's gonna engulf the solar system. Is this how the Big Bang was created? Just a giant planet? What the heck? Okay, it's spinning a lot. And now it has gaps. And it's crumbling. There's little holes in it. Speed it up. Oh, it's getting brighter. Oh. There's just little parts left. Oh, it's pretty much gone. Poof. It's still here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, um... Nope, it, it's still there. How is it still there? It isn't there. Okay, what happened to the other planets? Here, is that glowing dot the epicenter? Hold on a second. Yeah, I think it is. That's what used to be Earth. Um. Yeah, this is, this is the epicenter. Or, I guess the center, not the epicenter. Um. Wow, Earth used to be here. <laughs> okay, let's zoom out way more. It's still there. Here, let's let's just delete it. Let's just... Oh, did it just disappear on its own? It's still there. The little ring is spinning. Oh, now it's gone. Okay, what remains of the solar system? Let's see what's here. The sun is still alive, somehow, and it grew by 0.1 suns, so where, where's Sirius? It's somewhere, it's somewhere, oh well, um, is that Neptune? Yes it is, so, okay, that, that was very strange. <laughs> Um, okay, so, there is a star called Gliese 710, and in about one million years from right now, it will pass inside the Oort cloud, which is basically the outer reaches of our solar system, and when it passes through the Oort cloud, it will mess a lot of stuff up, so... Let's get a brand spanking new solar system. There we go. And let's simulate that happening. So, where is Gliese 710? There we go. And the Oort cloud is about right here. This little ring. Or, er, not, not little. I suppose it's quite large. So, er, it might, might even be like that big closest star is Alpha Centauri, and it's about right there. The Oort Cloud is about that big, I'd say. So, let's just chuck a star right through there. It should be moving very fast. Um, like, very, very fast. There we go. Or, no, not that fast. 
There we go. That's a bit better. Now, let's get Earth's view over the... Two weeks are passing by every second. So, there's Gliese 710. And, yeah. This, will, this would be the Earth's view in about one million years. So, you can see the stars moving across the sky. It's getting... The size isn't really changing too much, but, okay, now it's starting to get a lot brighter. No light is being emitted onto Earth yet. Okay, let's speed up time. Now two months are passing every second. Oh, now you can see movement. You can see it moving across the sky. Still no light is being emitted onto Earth. So where, where did it go? Here it is. Okay, now it's getting quite a bit bigger. Let's zoom out. And there it goes. Passing by. This would be... This would be Gleese's 710's view. Oh wow, it's getting... It's getting a lot closer. It's gonna pass over 2013 F y27 okay and th this will be its closest point where's the earth ah here's the earth is any light being emitted onto it from the star uh, not really so if you lived in i don't know let's say you lived in london this would be your view. I mean, here, let's get a little bit more scale. So, let's place Sirius, the brightest star in the night sky, out about the same distance we did before. So, okay, let's zoom out a lot. And where is, where's the light year length? Ah, uh, here we go. So this is one, three light years, four, five, six, seven, I'd say right there. Okay, let's zoom back in. Whoops. Okay, let, let's place another star. Let's place just one more. Alpha Centauri A, the closest star in the night sky. It is about four light years away. There we go. And just for scale, this is Sirius, the brightest star in the sky. The closest star in the sky. And in one million years, a star will come that close. Yeah, that is... That's pretty close for a star. So, this would be the Earth's view. And if you're looking at Sirius, Sirius would still be brighter. Since this is a red dwarf, it doesn't really glow that bright. So, the only bad thing that will happen is a bunch of rocks will probably get yeeted out of place and come for the rest of the solar system, much of which will probably hit Earth. So, yeah, there's that. And, yeah, that won't be good. So, I think this video is already getting very long, so I'm just going to end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below if you want to see more Universe Sandbox videos. And hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my Universe Sandbox videos. And, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.